Hi, this is Bjorn from Gilmores.com. A couple of weeks back, David Gilmore auctioned off uh, over 120 of his uh, guitars, and among them was, of course, the uh, Candy Apple Red 1983 uh, reissue 57. Uh, and uh, a lot of people has asked me recently about the pickups in particular. So uh, I'm going to talk about the EMG SA pickups today, and I'm going to show you a couple of uh, sound clips uh, demonstrating the um, the tone controls in particular. So uh, I don't have a black uh, a red strut. Uh, I have a black one, um, and mine is fitted with the uh, EMG SA single coils, which is single coils with Alnico, um, and the like David the uh, SPC uh, presence control. Uh, which boosts the mid range around the 400 Hertz and the uh, EXG bass and treble boost. Now, uh, David rarely used the uh, treble and bass boost, perhaps on one or two uh, for certain solos or to brighten up the tone a bit, but he usually kept that off. And uh, the uh, SBC was um, often set around two, three, or four, maybe higher. But um, and it's it adds a bit of sustain and obviously a bit of uh, mid-range presence. So I'm going to show you um, a couple of settings later on. Tone-wise, these are um, modeled after um, I guess 60s era Fender pickup single coils. Uh, they have a bit more output, and uh, the the. Um, the active preamp uh, makes them sound slightly compressed, slightly darker, uh, but they also cancel all the hum, which is uh, obviously why David installed his uh, pickups back in uh, 1985, just prior to uh, joining Brian Ferry on stage uh, for the uh, Live Aid performance. They kill all the hum, and uh, which, which was use, uh, useful for the uh, uh, huge stage productions uh, with uh, radio interference and hum from the light rigs and everything. So um, I installed these uh, f 15 years ago, I think. I used them quite a lot. Uh, they're uh, all over uh, airbags, um, all rights removed. You can hear them there. And uh, I've been sort of semi-retired this guitar for a while, but I, I brought it back and I set it up and uh, it sounds quite nice. Um, I'm not quite sure if um, uh, I'm going back to the uh, to the EMG pickups, but uh, I prefer the vintage uh, tones. I think they're more dynamic than passive pickups, but uh, they have a certain um, character. And obviously, when you combine it with the right amp and pedals, you're you're uh, sounding very similar to um, David Gilmore from the 80s and 90s. So. Um, I'm um, uh, head on over to gilmerish.com and check out the new feature on David's uh, Red Strat with uh, all the details of the guitar and the pickups. And uh, be sure to um, check out Gilmerish on Facebook and check out my own site bjornlist.com as well. I've just released a new album, so uh, check that out. So uh, leave your comments in the field below and let me know what you think.